Hello everyone, my name is Drew, and today I'm going to be bringing you a Momir Vig gameplay video. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a brief explanation of what Momir Vig is. Momir Vig is a format exclusive to Magic the Gathering Online, and the way it works is that you have a 60 card deck, and every card in your deck is a basic land. And the way you uh, generate creatures is with your avatar, Momir Vig. You can only have Momir Vig as your avatar. Uh, what he does is you pay X and discard a card and you put a token of a, on the battlefield that's a copy of a creature with CMC X chosen at random. And you can only activate this ability when you can cast a sorcery and only once per turn. So pretty much what that means is you pay as much mana as you want and it creates a random creature and puts it on the battlefield. And it can literally be any creature that was ever printed in Magic ever. So it's a fun, casual format that is exclusive to Magic the Gathering Online, and I wanted to do a gameplay video for you guys. Uh, usually the general strategy in Momir Vig is you want to get to 8 mana, because 8 mana creatures are the best creatures in the game in this format. So usually what you do is you play land go the first couple of turns, and then you try to get up to 8 mana and try to play enough 8 mana creatures to overwhelm your opponent and win. So, my opponent is making a 2-drop, and he gets a Goblin Legionnaire. So, sacrifice it, and it's a shock, or sacrifice it and prevent the damage. So that's, a, that's okay. 2-mana two, a 2-2 two 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 is fine. Uh, I'm going to play Mountain, and I will make a 2-drop as well. And I get... Pro black, I can give it flying and I can give it plus one plus zero. So that's okay. Um, flying is very good in this format. Flying is one of the best abilities a creature can have. Evasion is very important in this format. But I don't think it's worth uh, paying a white mana to give myself flying. So. He's going to attack, and I will trade here. It's a sacrifice, right? Yeah, I will trade here. So we'll trade. And he's not making a 3-drop. But uh, since I'm on the draw, I will be making a 3-drop. So let's play our mountain. Make a 3-drop. And uh, if you notice, I keep discarding islands. That's because... Ooh, evolve and trample. That's good. This thing is probably going to evolve a bunch. But the reason I keep discarding islands is because it is um, a general consensus that island is the worst land in the format. Even though your deck is full of basic lands, um, islands tend to be the worst because there are lots of creatures with island walk and there are lots of creatures that abilities turn on when your opponent controls an island. So I usually tr t discard my islands first, and then my planes, because lots of creatures have planes walk. And then mountains, forest, and swamps are pretty much in the same tier. I prefer mountains and swamps over forests. So he gets a 2-4. Untap a land and opponent controls. Untap a tap land. Add one mana of any type. Okay, so that's really good. Ramp is very good in this format. And since this is Momir Vig, I will be tapping out every turn. So next turn, he's going to be making a 6-drop. So that is a very good pull for him right there. So let's make a 4-drop. Let's cover planes. We get Brain Weevil. Sacrifice Brain Weevil target. So I'm actually just going to do that now. Yeah, I'm just going to do it now. So, that is really good for us. So, he was ahead, but now he's behind. And I will not attack. So, the Brain Weevil was good, good for us there. Generally not a good card, but in Momir, it's a great card. Uh, that's why I love Momir. Uh, no game is the same, and, you know get to generate random creatures that you usually wouldn't play 
and you can either get blown out, you can blow your opponent out, or games can come to a board stall and you just try to get the best big splashy creature you can get. So he's making a 6 drop here. And I think he got something that died. He got... Oh jeez, I can't read this. Something liege. Can I move this? Uh, V4, we love you. Here we go. Gaia's liege. So, I don't know what that does off the top of my head, but it's something that has its values as zero, and its values weren't met, so it just died because it came into the battlefield as a zero, zero. So that was good for us. So let's make a five drop. Hopefully our thing evolves. Okay, we, <laughs> we got some, and we got the Mimeoplasm. So, for all you EDH players out there, the Mimeoplasm is not good at Momir. But I will be attacking now. So... Hmm. So the game's pretty even right now, I would say. He can make... 3, 4, 5, 6... So he can still make 8 drops, even though I brainweaveled him. Actually, no, he can't. He can only make seven drops. Talon, Glacial Worm, Trample. Okay, so hopefully we get something that can block that next turn. Because a nine damage a turn is not a clock I would like to be on. So let's hopefully we get a Titan. Titan is the best six drop you can get. Trample, tap it. Untap Road Creature Control. Okay, so I I can just double block, which I will do if he if he attacks. No, I do not want to attack. So I would double block and take three, which isn't that bad. So he's gonna make a seven drop. Mornwalk. Okay, so. We're even now. That sucks for us. So I will probably... Uh, hmm, trying to think here. Okay, I will double block. That's definite. So the question is, is, do I want to play land and play sevens, or do I want to just keep making sixes? I uh, th think we, uh, I'd be taking what three damage next turn. Let's just play the land. I like, s I don't like sixes that much. You can get a titan, but playing a land doesn't penalize that mu us that much here. He might play a land this turn too. No, he's not going to. I, w I might have played the land there if I was him. Okay, so I want to kill this thing. Okay, take five. So now we want to make something. We get a 6-6, six, six. so we'll be taking 5 next turn, so we're on a 3 turn clock, we need to hit something with flying here. This is why flying is so good. So we need something with reach or flying. And that mourn walk was brutal. I'm definitely mourning the loss of those two cards that I discarded. It's a moss bridge troll. Tap any number of untapped creatures you control. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so he has a 25 25 on the board. 
and I am on a two turn clock. Maybe playing the six might have been right, but I don't know. Enigma Sphinx. Okay, so we can kill this now. That was good. So that was good for us there. But we don't want to attack because he can make this a 25 25 next turn. And if he does, I would just chump. Thank god this thing doesn't have trample. That would suck. So a five, five power flyer was probably the best thing we can get right there. Because now if we, he's not going to attack with this. Because if if I if he attacks with this, I just wipe the board. Barricamo, board barricamos. Okay. So I don't think he's going to attack here. Attack with everything. Hmm. Okay. So we do this here. Ooh. So the next time we would need to get a good seven. When it dies without flying. I mean, it doesn't matter what I block, right? They all die. So, he's going to have Borborigamos on board. Oh, why didn't this die? Oh, if it dies, you regenerate it. Yeesh. Okay, so I definitely need something good here. Spawn of Thaxes. When Spawn of Thaxes enters the battlefield, it deals damage. The target creature player equals the number of mountains I control. Hmm. So I might as well just face him, right? Because I'm, I can't attack this. Only had a couple of more mountains. So I go to one next turn. Yeah, I go to one next turn. So I need to hit something good here. I have to block. Actually, I'd rather block. I'm taking six no matter what, right? If I block this, I take six. If I block this, I take one and then five. So I'd rather block this and kill it so it loses the 1-1 one, one counter uh... Nah, it didn't matter anyway i thought that would have worked alright so i need like platinum angel or the new m15 angel those are like my only two outs and i get something that i lose with so that was unfortunate he got a five power flyer and put me on a pretty quick clock there and I got a bunch of useless creatures but that's moment for you that's um, why I love this format you know every game is different and he just got lucky and got better creatures than me but I could have gotten just as lucky and gotten you know way better creatures than him but that's that's moment for you guys um, I hope that this uh, video was entertaining and I hope that some uh, people that didn't know much ab about Mummy before learned something from this video. Like I said, it's a uh, format exclusive to Magic the Gathering Online. So the only way you would be able to uh, play this on paper is if you printed out a copy of every creature card ever printed ever and played with that. So yeah, um, I just want to give a shout out or a thanks to the TCG community. What I think, I think what they're doing is awesome, 
and I'll definitely be playing or uploading another Momir video in the future. Hopefully, we get some better luck. So, once again, guys, my name is Drew, and I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the TCG community.